Hey everyone, I'm seeing a lot of you guys asking about uh, TSW and what exactly it is. I don't blame you because it's not very well known, so I'm happy to explain. Basically what it is is an overprescription of topical steroids. They can be a cream, they can be a gel, but it needs to typically come from a doctor. There are over-the-counter topical steroids and, and there are cases of children getting addicted to them, uh, but for the most part it comes from prescribed topical steroids from a doctor. And what it does is basically our bodies, when they get inflamed, uh, they can naturally uh, contract or constrict and expand uh, our, our blood vessels. So whenever we're inflamed in red, what's happening is our blood vessels are uh, expanded. And uh, so when you put on topical steroids on a spot that's inflamed, or if you've got any eczema or some kind of other skin issue, what it does is makes the blood vessels uh, contract. You do this long enough uh, with a strong enough pot potency of topical steroid, your body gets addicted. And what that means is it forgets to do this on its own. So when you eventually stop using those uh, topical steroids, your body just doesn't do that anymore. It doesn't know how to stop itself from being inflamed. Shortly after stopping topical steroids, my skin started to excessively ooze. My body turned red and this is a reason why it's also called red skin syndrome. Accompanying the red skin is also extreme down to the bone itching, severe stinging and severe burning. And these are just some of the symptoms that occur until your blood vessels start to contract again. Based on current data, it takes anywhere from six months to five years to complete the withdrawal process. Currently, I'm 15 months TSW and I've just recently begun to see improvements. In one of my next videos, I'm gonna dive deeper into additional symptoms of TSW. And if there's anyone who's looking for more information about this disease, please visit itsan.org. That's I-T-S-A-N.org. They are the only foundation I know of that is currently raising awareness about this disease. And as always, if you wanna learn more, please follow and thank you for watching.